Hi guys, today let's have a look at some logic function blocks and let's do a few practical examples. Logson has over 200 function blocks, I believe. You can always say add function block up here and then go through the different categories. There is comparisons like equal, greater, greater, equal, and so on. There is logic blocks, there is mathematics, add, subtract, divide, and so on. But also controllers like the two position controller, PID controller, so you can build crazy logics yourself. And today, your crazy Austrian automation engineer shows you how. Let's start with the first one. It's the OR function block. You could, for instance, say if there is this water sensor or the other water sensor, if one of those two is active, then you would like to make a water alarm. How to test this logic? There is a testing tab up here, and then you can start the simulation, or you can also press F7 if you're a real expert. Then you'll see there is an icon, on the input that you can press. And now you see either this sensor or that sensor or both. You have the output here permanently on. Let's go with the next one, which is the AND function block. You could say if both windows are closed, then the AC is allowed to work. F7, this one alone, no. This one, okay. The next function block is the NOT function block. And with F5, you can easily search. <laughs> Thank you. And insert function blocks super fast, if you know what you're searching. If you don't know what function blocks are available or how Loxon is calling them, then you can go up to here and then search in the comparisons tab what you're looking for. And the NOT is simply inverting the signal. So if the contact now gives us off and we would like to invert it like with a window contact for instance when the window is closed then the magnet pushes the contact so the signal goes through but what if we would like to indicate that a window is open by turning on a light or something just as an example then we would need to invert it so if it's open physically the state would be off no signal, no 24 volt coming through. And then with the NOT, we invert it. And then here we have the ON signal to do whatever we want with it. Then we come to the comparisons. Now we need an analog input, which we do not have on my mini server compact. So first we need an analog input extension, AI extension, where we have here different voltages. So let me put one voltage on the side, maybe another one for testing, let's see. Let's say this voltage here is an ultrasonic sensor giving us the state of a water tank, the level of a water tank. Maybe we just call it level water tank. Uh, should I tell you this now or in another video? Yeah, if you don't know me yet, I love talking and explaining stuff. So let's say we have a water sensor, ultrasonic sensor. We mount it, we install it. Now, how we get the level for zero, for empty and full? Because the voltage of the sensor, depending on how high the water level is, might be 3.5 volt when it's completely empty, the tank, and 2 volt if it's completely full, let's say. Then F5, let's do a note. And then here we say 3.5 volt is empty and 2 volt is full. How do we know what voltage we have. That's simple. We save in the mini server, then we start the live view, which we don't have for the analog sensor yet because I don't have an AI extension connected physically. But let's imagine we go in the live view, there is no water in the tank, then we see live what the voltage is, the voltage level. Then we say, okay, 3.5 volt. Then we fill up the tank, and then we know, okay, live view again, two volt is full. Now, how to validate this analog input now? As an easier example, let's say we have a zero to 10 volt sensor delivering zero to 100% humidity. In this case, we would say the input value zero volt means zero percent humidity. The input level number two, 10 volt means 100% humidity. And everything in between, that's why I make this example, 5.5 volt means 55% humidity. 
So Loxon is doing a linear, what's the English word? A linear proxy, like in school, the freaking linear graphs things. Now you know what you needed this for. <laughs> so for the water level tank, it's equal, we say, the input value, 3.5 volt, means 0% level. The input value, and it can be less, that's why this example was a little difficult to start with, this value number 2 equals 100. We make an example, if the water level is less, less than what? In the past, we could and we, we had to make constants and sometimes I'm still using them here constants make a new constant min water level then we say the value might be 20 and then we connect it to it but then it's already telling us hey man didn't you know that there is a freaking new cool feature do you still want to connect it if we go into the simulation again it would be if it's less than 20, then the output is on. And once we reach 20, it's off because it's a less block. There is a less or equal as well. And the difference is less or equal means 20, it would be still on. It's the same for the greater or equal, greater. I think you get the point. So we could now say we have a valve, a magnetic valve here water fill valve it's a magnetic valve maybe 24 maybe 230 i don't know just make sure to pick the correct one normally closed normally open with no power closed or open basically because if you have a power loss then maybe the valve is then with a spring opening and then there is lots of water wasted without you noticing maybe and now this logic might seem very cool because we say okay if the water level is below 20 then fill it up Okay, we reach 20, it stops. Could be okay, but what if we water automatically because we are smart home guys, crazy and smart. What happens? There is water being used from the tank, maybe. Then the voltage drops to 19.999% level, I mean. Then it's on again. Then it's back to 20, then it's off again. So it permanently switches on and off and on and off and on and off. That's where the two position controller comes in hand. And before I show you this one, what I forgot is that we do not need the constants anymore because here in the less function block, we can set the value, let's say 30, so you see it, without creating a constant. That's super fast, I, I love it. Now let's make this logic a little better. There is a two position controller when you have no clue what this block does, any block, then you go onto the info icon, also offline, when you have no, no internet on the site, there is offline documentation as well. Then you see, okay, there is a set point and there is a hysteresis. You can read through this and you can understand maybe by the diagram, let me explain it to you because otherwise it's assisted reading, which I don't like. <laughs> we say our set point should be 80% water level. And our hysteresis should be five. Let's see what happens. We connect to the process value, the, the value that we want to control it to. The set point is 80. If you change something here, let's say the set point is 60, and then you see it's not changing life, then you have to stop the simulation and start again. Let's say it's 60, okay? Let's say we connect the water valve to it as well. Now it's on because we want 60, we have zero. Now I know why this still shows volt here because here we can validate it and we can say this should be percent. And if we do so, then we see here now it's the water level. The unit here with V in brackets dot three means three digits after the comma. For the water level, I need none. I could say I need one. Then you see it looks like this. But for a percent, maybe for this, I don't need. Now, let's say the water level is rising. 55% still filling. 60% still filling. 61%. What the hell is it still filling, man? <laughs> 65 and it stops. And that's exactly our hysteresis. It's plus, minus what we type in here. What if we fall? 61, still off, 
60, still off. 58, still off. Until we reach 60 minus our hysteresis, so 55. Then it starts again. And with this logic, it's like in a fridge. It starts the compressor, it's cooling down two degrees and then it waits until there is a two degree increase again and then it starts again. Otherwise the compressor would permanently restart like we had before with the less function block. But crazy automation engineers don't make every mistake themselves. They watch these videos and subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.